All right, welcome back to the Morrowind playthrough. We are now in Balmora. Yay! What? Where's Balmora supposed to be? Uh, slightly northwest of, uh, or northeast, I should say, of Sedanine, where we started. Just at the other end of the Silt Strider. So, besides fog, what is this place known for? This place is known for having a lot of crates and not caring if you steal everything that's in them. That's always nice. And your main quest giver for the game's primary storyline resides right over here, so we're gonna go talk to him right now. He's red. He is very red. <clears throat> so right now he's just telling us that we're part of the Blades, but we need to find some freelance work and make a name for ourselves on this island. So what do we have to do before he'll actually give us a quest then? Well, we have to accept 200 gold from him, stop talking to him, and then turn around and talk to him again. Quite a name to make for yourself. Exactly, but we're gonna, in good faith, actually go make a good name for ourselves. Oh, okay. Hmm. wonder if there's any lanterns around here. <laughs> I'm sure we can find a few. We always manage. So much stuff that nobody wants, apparently. No, and it sells for quite good amount of money. Like maybe the maybe these aren't like supposed to be holding anything. Maybe those are just their garbage cans. And I'm the trash collector. People are so filthy rich that they just throw away good stuff. I still haven't put my shirt on, have I? No. Nope. Well, we'll have to remember to do that at some point. Um. So I'm just talking to the trader here, and. Stuff. Yeah, make sure I keep on my mushrooms. We'll have to make note of that for later. You know, maybe we can get by without having a shirt because maybe we're so awesome that we can just take a spear to the face. No, I, I think you're thinking of a different game. Oh, okay. This game we definitely need a shirt or we're going to die. That's something I was wondering about. Um, Are you affected by like the elements? Like... Rain, snow, stuff like that. Just, uh, just your Lantern. vision. Nothing related. Lantern! So I'm just gonna steal from this guy. Part of this game is, uh, right here I'm gonna realize I'm not a thief. And, you know, go steal from somewhere where he can't actually see me. <laughs> but part of this game is that merchants do not like it when you try to sell back stuff you've stolen from them. I, I would hope so. Now that I've stolen from this guy, I'm going to have to find a new merchant to sell stuff to. Luckily, there's one that lives across the street. All in the day's work. Precisely. It's their fault for not locking it up. <laughs> Pawn broker. Yep. Was that a baseball bat I saw? Uh, no, they don't have baseball in Marinfall. Oh, okay. Just a, uh, short sword. We have lots and lots of things. Lots and lots of things to sell. You know, the interesting thing is we've just destroyed their economy. <laughs> Since we're selling their, own, we're selling them their own stuff, so they're just giving away money now. Pretty much, but it was their stuff that they gave to us in the first place by putting it in those convenient little garbage cans everywhere. True. So now we are off to the Mages Guild. And although I'm a fighting type character, I wanted to sign up for this, mainly because I have some mushrooms in my inventory. And they do what? Well, first quest, they ask me to find the mushrooms, so I'm just going to tell her I already have them. And the second quest, they're going to give me a fake soul gem to place in the desk upstairs when 
its owner goes missing. And there goes its owner. And now I'm free to steal all I want. <laughs> and really, all I want means everything. I would carry off this desk. We still can't find that blasted kitchen sink, though. No. Working on it. So I put the soul gem in there just to be nice. <laughs> Steal all your shit and then just give you a little token. And now we can start up for our real guild, the Fighters Guild. Hooray! And the first quest they want us to do here is go across the street to kill some rats. What a great use of talent. Exactly. Um, once again, no compass. I just have to find this place across the river, but they give me pretty good directions as there's only really about four houses yeah. standing at the, the river there. Shiny! Yeah, I was wondering about that when I was playing this too. It looks like it kind of glitched up, but all magic weapons have a real shine to them. So that you can tell the difference. Yeah, but that thing looked like it was like from the sun. Exactly, that's... I mean, I was staring at it for a while after this clip. Basket of pillows. Twenty. We need twenty-five pillows, don't we? Yeah, because everyone knows a bed of pillows is awesome. You have a bed of pillows, don't you? No, but I wish I did. It's That's the same thing. Yeah, it's it's extremely comfortable, but extremely cumbersome at the same time. <laughs> if you can get out of it, then it's all right. Yeah. So I do have a question. What? Are you playing this in double speed or? Like, did you just, like, speed it up? Uh, I sped this up after. Oh, okay. Because, again, I was thinking to myself, how could you play this in double speed? Yeah, I've seen people run through this pretty fast once you get a high speed set. <clears throat> Actually, with my old version of the game, I was able to glitch it to get my speed stat over 2,000. And I was able to vibrate through walls and get into <laughs> red. <laughs> You're able to vibrate through walls. Yeah. It was it was fantastic fun because I would be outside of a wall inside a building, red hell all around me, and I'd pull out a bow and I'd be able to shoot back through the outside of the wall and just kill whoever I wanted. <laughs> Those were good times. I don't even think the flash could pull off that. I don't know, but maybe I'll have to record from my old game and show that off. We now has a suit of armor. Yeah, but unfortunately it's too heavy, so we're gonna have to drop our suit of armor. I think it's because of all those pillows. <laughs> they weigh so much. Mm -hmm. You know, we still, we do have a suit of armor, but the sad thing is we still don't have a shirt. No, uh, we, we could wear a shirt. Actually, this game really promotes you wearing a robe over top of your armor for some reason. It's make you look like you're not wearing armor. Yeah. I've always found that whenever I get farther and farther into this game, I'm just looking for nice robes to wear. Really to hell with how my armor looks. <laughs> lots and lots of miscellaneous things. Yep. And pillows. I think I get a little angry here because they don't want to pay full price for my limeware platter there. Aww. Hey, what's the currency in this game? It runs off of gold. So you can sell gold for gold. Exactly. Does and the more they like you, the less they rip you off on the gold for gold deal. Can you use the gold like that just to, as money? Or is it like... Uh, yeah, you could if you really wanted to. Because as you trade with them, uh, the amount uh, sold and the amount bought go side by side alongside each other. So you could pay them enough gold to even it out and just leave without doing the barter at the end. <laughs> you know what suck? It's like this place caught on fire. Because since it's all underground, they have like no way to get out. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to head on our way out here and we'll leave town for a little while for our next playthrough. Mm -hmm.